Cheers everybody, Graham from Smarty Pines here coming at you with a quick tutorial on how to change your Johnson A419 thermal controller from heating to cooling. Same could be done from cooling to heating, which is actually for the cooling setting is the factory default. So I'm going to show you how to switch it, and if you want to switch back, this is a great reference for that. So here you go. I have been using the 419 up until my first brew date, I was using it for strictly heating my rims tube. Today, I'm going to be switching it to cooling because right now it's set to turn it on heat. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, the unit itself has four screws on each corner. You unscrew those guys and open it up. I've already unscrewed it. Now remember, I'm switching from heating to cooling. When you get this, it's already going to be in cooling mode. So take the steps that I give you and just reverse them. We're going to open it up like this. Be very careful, don't overextend it because there are wires to a top circuit board that you don't want to snap off. Go in there and get a close up of these guys. What you're looking for, grab my little tiny screwdriver so this thing doesn't have trouble focusing. You're looking at these jumpers right here. Now, if I go in a little bit further, you can see more. You can see the pins that they rest on. Right now, the top one is set to heating. It is covering both pins. In order to turn this into cooling, you need to take this top jumper and make it only rest on one pin. I'm gonna lift this guy up. See the two pins? I'm going to make it cover up the one on the left. There you go. Now we're set to cooling. This is the factory default setting when you get it. Now if you want to set it to heating again, just take that top jumper off, the one that I just moved right here, and cover up both top pins. You do not have to touch this bottom jumper. Hope you found this video helpful. I'm going to get back to it. Turn this freezer back into a fermentation chamber. Cheers.